On if ng terminal, go to QAMU image directory and create new directories for vmanage vpond vsmart and two directories for vedge routers. For the sake of the lab, two vedges will be deployed. Open when SSP to transfer the images to the created directories. Transfer dot OVA image to vmanage image directory. Transfer dot OVA image to vbond image directory. Transfer dot OVA image to vsmart image directory. Transfer dot OVA image to vh image directory. Repeat that for the second vh. Now we will go to vmanage image directory and convert .ova image into .vmdk then into qcow image. Create additional virtual hard drive with 100 giga size as it's required for vmanage. And finally remove the original image files .vmdk and .ova. Go to vbond image directory and make same process. Except creating additional hard drive because it's only required for vmanage. Go to vSmart image directory and make same process. Go to vEdge1 and 2 directories with applying same process done for vBond and vSmart. Finally, go to the main directory and fix permissions. Now, web login to EVNG and SD1 lab. Select the SD1 fabric components and drop them to the lab.
we will have two clouds as two connections one for the management and one for the transport network. The number of interfaces for VH routers can be minimized to three management, transport, and service sites. Now let's connect the SD1 components together through the management and transport networks. Drop two Cisco routers to be connected to VH1 and VH2 routers from their service interface. Start vManage and double click on it to go to its CLI. Login with its default credentials, user admin, password admin, and select the additional hard drive created with 100 giga and format it. After finishing the initialization process, vManage system will reboot and should be ready for use afterwards. Login again and use command show run to check the configuration file. There are two VPNs configured, VPN0 with interface Ethernet0 and VPN512 without interfaces. Interface Ethernet0 will be moved from VPN0 to VPN512 because it will be used for the management network. Interface Ethernet 1 will be configured in VPN 0 as the transport interface of vManage with an IP address 10.33.33.3/24. Configure VPN 5.12 with interface Ethernet 0 to connect to vManage to the management network and add command IP DHSP client to obtain its IP address dynamically. Finally, commit to apply changes. Check the configuration file again to make sure changes have been applied. Show interface command can be used to check on the status of the existing interfaces and their IPs. Interface Ethernet0 obtained IP address 
192.168.129.144, it will be used to web login to vManage. Open your web browser and input the management IP 192.168.129.144, then click enter. Input default login credentials and click login. We can see the dashboard of vManage. We will get back later to it when we set up the control plane of SD1 fabric. Start vBond, double click on it to open its CLI. And login where its default credentials, check the configuration file with show run command. The host name has to be changed to vBond. And interface Giga Ethernet 00 will be changed to have a static IP address 10.33.33.5/24. It's already added in the correct VPN 0. No change required for VPN 5.12 and its interface Ethernet 0. Now we can check the current configuration applied with changes and show interfaces to check all the status and IPs for the interfaces. We can follow same steps for vSmart. Interface Ethernet 0 will be moved to VBN 5.12 and interface Ethernet 1 will be added to VBN 0 with IP address 10.33.33. Dot four slash twenty four. VH1 and VH2 have been configured with same mentioned steps VH1 Giga Ethernet interface 0 slash 0 10.33.33.6 slash 24 and VH2 Giga Ethernet interface 0 slash 0 10.33.33.7 slash 24 IP connectivity can be tested between VH2, VH1, and vSmart through VBN0, which is the transport network.